welcome. Uh, we began our tour at St. John Vianney, where each Friday night many packed and community volunteers gather to participate in the practice of night walks. Night walks is one of the small components of a program known as Operation Ceasefire Lifelines to Healing. Ceasefire is an evidence-based program that has successfully reduced violent crime in many cities throughout the United States. For the past six months, through the efforts of Reverend Peggy Bryan, over 100 volunteers come on Friday nights to St. John Vianney and walk together to promote a safe and cohesive neighborhood. Several other congregations have also expressed an interest in beginning night walks. But night walks is just the beginning of employing ceasefire and lifelines to healing. It is our hope that the leadership of our city and county will help bring the entire program model to our communities. Recent statistics from our police department report that in the past year, there's been a decrease in property crime, but an increase in violent crime. However, several neighboring communities such as Richmond, Stockton, and Oakland have seen a significant drop in violent crime of between 30 and 60%, which they report as aided by utilizing the ceasefire lifelines to healing programs. Youth and gangs are particularly stressed in this model, providing incentives and alternatives to end participation in gang activity. Use of this model has brought financial savings to these cities, but more importantly, it has brought outcomes to the communities that are both life-saving and life-changing. This was not achieved through increases in arrests, stronger sentencing, and higher incarceration rates, but by preventative methods it calls for coordinated efforts between the community, law enforcement, social services, faith-based groups, educational and re-entry services. When faced with the limited social, economic, or educational opportunities around them, many, particularly our youth, may see life within the gangs or crime as their best or only alternative. When supplying needed services, the ceasefire model consistently shows a decrease in gang participation or repeated criminal activity. This allows all of our citizens a chance to contribute to our community in a positive manner. California is second in the nation for recidivism. We have built 20 prisons and only two universities in the past 30 years. Our prisons and jails are massively overcrowded. 40% of inmates lack a high school diploma. Clearly, our current programs do not prevent or reduce crime or provide true rehabilitative opportunities. Many among us have experienced the pain and frustration of watching loved ones deal with a lack of rehabilitative programs while incarcerated and having limited access to programs once released. This must change. We need a climate of inclusion and healing in our city and county. Mass incarceration is not the answer. This is why we walk on Friday nights. We walk to be seen and to be heard and to educate. We walk to encourage the use of innovative, evidence-based practices that bring healing to our community. We want you to act with us in making San Jose and Santa Clara County the next ceasefire and lifelines to healing success.